This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a patient who's heard a lot of news about a new type of treatment called bispecific monoclonal antibodies and wants to know, well, are these going to be important new therapies or, or what's the story about these uh, new bispecific uh, antibodies? Well, the answer is that these are indeed important new therapies. Uh, the bispecific antibodies, as the name suggests, bind to two types of cells. So in addition to binding to the myeloma, the antibody binds to immune cells, usually T cells, but can also be other cells called NK cells in the microenvironment surrounding the myeloma. These bispecific monoclonal antibodies harness the immune cells, these T cells, for example, to jointly attack the myeloma and really achieve a much better level of uh, attack and killing of the myeloma. And so this is quite promising to produce better results and achieve a deeper response. The targets for these uh, bispecifics are similar to other immune therapies uh, and mostly to BCMA, B cell maturation antibody on the surface of the myeloma, but there are some other uh, newer targets. Uh, GPR5CD, for example, is another one with a specific monoclonal directed against that. The initial results in the relapse refractory setting have been uh, very promising, uh, mostly in the 60 to 70 percent uh, range. A number of these patients have received uh, prior therapy directed against uh, BCMA, and so it's been encouraging to see that these patients continue to respond. It seems that uh, this will be an important new avenue of, of treatment and an ongoing uh, new modality, really. These therapies are given uh, either intravenously or by subcutaneous injection on an outpatient basis, uh, but also on an ongoing uh, basis. And so there's an ongoing deepening response as treatment is continued. And so the bottom line in this case is that bispecifics are important uh, new therapies. There are several types. And it is anticipated uh, that in the coming months to year or two, there will be several of these bispecific monoclonal antibodies approved by regulators, uh, both by the FDA uh, and in Europe by the EMA, and uh, available for broad use. So very, very encouraging to have this uh, new immune approach to therapy.